To the new developments in the University of Idaho murder case, prosecutors now say they plan to seek the death penalty against Brian Koberger, who is due in, co due in court this morning. Kenna Whitworth has the latest with exclusive new reporting. This morning, Idaho murder suspect Brian Koberger heading back to court as prosecutors announce they will now seek the death penalty for the quadruple murders of four Idaho college students. His defense team filing new paperwork, arguing there's no connection between Mr. Koberger and the victims, claiming there were three additional unidentified male DNA profiles found at the crime scene, two of them in the King Road house and a third on a glove found outside. They're using that information to try to suggest that Koberger may not be the person they're looking for. But prosecutors allege Koberger committed the murders and claim DNA taken from his cheek swab tied him to the knife sheath allegedly left behind. And this morning, ABC News exclusively learning this was not Brian Koberger's first arrest. According to records reviewed by ABC News, Koberger was arrested in 2014 for allegedly stealing his sister's phone. And it was Koberger's own father, Michael, who called police. Documents show Michael told authorities his then 19-year-old son had struggled with drug addiction and had just exited rehab and rejoined the family. The records say Koberger was charged with misdemeanor theft. He served no jail time. Now, Monroe County, Pennsylvania offers first-time offenders the opportunity to have records expunged upon completion of probation. Koberger will appear in court in Idaho later this afternoon. Robin. Thank you, Kanan. We know you've been on the story from the very beginning. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.